I've been getting into sewing lately and my boyfriend requested that I make him some wizard pants, so here are 10 ways that I f***ed them up. These pants were self-drafted based on a salty DIY tutorial, which I will link below. I added a drawstring to the waistband instead of using elastic, and I also added some cuffs to the bottoms to make them a little more wizardy looking. So uh, here are the 10 ways I f***ed these pants up. All right, this first error wasn't exactly my fault, only partially. The butcher paper I was using for the pattern drafting was not sufficiently wide. I mean, you can only get butcher paper to be so large. So, I don't know, drop crotch pants tend to be pretty wide just because of physics. I don't know, I don't understand how patterns work, man. Geometry, geometry is probably the word I was looking for. I did <laughs> chop off the butcher paper too short to accommodate the table length and uh, to try to fit it on camera. And then I realized that like, wait a second, I needed that extra length. So the solution here was just to cut out some more paper, tape it together. Really, it's a perfectly viable solution. My second error was uh, I completely forgot to add seam allowance, but luckily only on the pockets. If it had been on the rest of the pants, that would have been disastrous. Honestly, it was a bit of a miracle that I only screwed this up on the pockets. So the fix here is if you have enough fabric, which mercifully I did, you just cut them out again. Otherwise, I mean, you just make smaller pants, I guess. My third error was clipping the seam allowance in the pocket before I sewed it. Uh, which actually turned out not to be a problem as far as I can tell, but all the instructions I've seen say to clip it afterwards, and probably it's because it's easier to be accurate that way. So my fourth error was um, in how I did the flat felled seams, or at least one of the flat felled seams. You're supposed to do them, I mean as you might guess, flat. I completely forgot about this and folded my fabric over so that the seam was on the outer edge, which meant that I basically folded the seam over onto itself and had to do some extra sewing. I eventually figured out the problem and did the rest of my seams correctly, but for that first one, I just kind of... Okay, so my fifth error was sewing a fold into the fabric. I could kind of tell something was going wrong while I was sewing this part. It seemed like there was something wrong. I kind of felt around under there, tried to move things around, couldn't figure it out. And then when it, I pulled it out of the machine, of course, I had sewn the pants to themselves. But it wasn't for a very long stretch, so I just picked it out with some seam rippers. And then I sewed it again. Not the whole thing, just that little stretch. The sixth error I made was uh, some pretty entry-level stuff. I just... I forgot to keep an eye on the amount of thread left on my spool, and uh, I ran out. Sewing without thread, as you might expect, just doesn't, doesn't actually work. So after I sewed the sides and front together and made the pockets, I had my boyfriend try the pants on, just to make sure that they weren't, like, completely wrong. And, uh, you know, with no waistband, I'd say that's a <laughs> decent fit. My seventh error was, I think, just more of a, a lack of experience thing. Um, I sewed the buttonholes. Buttonholes? I guess they're buttonholes. The holes for the drawstring, I sewed those unevenly, so one is a bit higher than the other. There's probably some trick, but I suspect it's more of a matter of just getting used to eyeballing these things. The main reason I decided to do a drawstring was because I didn't have any elastic on hand. And I also just kind of hate elastic. So I decided to just give it a shot. So, um, I made the drawstring basically the way you would make bias tape. The problem is I'm used to making bias tape manually, um, and I had purchased some bias tape makers back when I was making masks, but I never got around to actually using them. And at the time of filming, I was too hyped up on the hobby to actually bother looking up how to use the bias tape. So I still don't know whether the problem was that my drawstring was just way too thick for the bias tape makers or whether I was just doing that completely wrong. <laughs> so if I recall, Salty didn't include any instructions in her video for leg cuffs because there aren't any leg cuffs in her pattern, but I just used the same principle as the waistband. 
The only difference being that I wanted the pants to be puffy, so I needed to do some gathering, which, again, I was too hyped on the hobby to actually bother to look up how to do this. But I, don't, I still don't quite understand how, but I'm pretty sure I screwed something up here because uh, the boyfriend has reported to me that one leg is in fact tighter than the other, <laughs> at least around the calf. But as you can see, the pants turned out looking pretty dang good. And the boyfriend likes them enough that he has worn them several days in a row and has requested a second pair. So, you know, making basic entry-level sewing mistakes doesn't mean that your clothes are going to be unwearable. And also a lot of them are pretty easy to resolve, so good luck, soldiers. If you have any sewing related questions or I don't know video requests or anything like that from a pretty close to absolute noob, hit me up in the comments.